people are always talking about the carbon footprint of cars and deforestation. But what about something simple like my lunch, this delicious BLT sandwich? What path did it take to reach my plate? What footprint did it leave on the planet? Good Luckily, scientists have mapped out every step of this sandwich's journey. Let's start with the slices of bread. For this much bread, you just need a 10 by 10 inch square of soil, a single serving field. A tractor plows this tiny field, burning a single drop of diesel and releasing a puff of carbon dioxide, about enough CO2 to fill a pint glass. The tractor comes back, this time to plant the seeds, another drop of fuel, another puff of CO2. It's time to add a little fertilizer, about half a tablespoon. You'd probably use a tractor to spread that fertilizer. But there's more. That fertilizer was brewed up in a factory, creating a couple gallons of CO2 in the process. Some of that fertilizer helps the wheat grow, but some of it is broken down by microbes in the soil. They belch out the equivalent of another gallon of CO2. Now it's harvest time. Our little field has yielded a third of a cup of grain. Now come a bunch of steps that require electricity, electricity that comes in part from burning fossil fuels. Time to dry it, drive it to the mill, and grind it into flour. Then on to the bakery. A little water, sugar, yeast, each with their own carbon journey. And into the oven. Our slices are put into a plastic bag plastic bag that was also made in the factory, and shipped off to the store where I picked them up. Every step took a little bit of carbon that was in the form of fuel and put it into the atmosphere as CO2. You can see the biggest chunk of carbon comes from the fertilizer. But wait, that's just the bread. We could follow the leaves of lettuce from their field, the tomatoes from their nursery, all the ingredients in the mayo. Each journey puts a little more greenhouse gas into the atmosphere. But the biggest footprint comes from those four strips of bacon. Not only do we have to raise, process, and transport one one thousandth of a pig, we have to cultivate the plants to feed that pig. To get this one sandwich, we've released 800 grams of CO2. That's enough gas to fill a hundred of these gallon jugs. Eat one of these sandwiches every day for a year, and you'd release the same amount of CO2 as you would if you drove a car from New York to Chicago. It turns out this simple sandwich isn't so simple. Of course, nothing is. You can ask Skunk Bear your science questions by following this link. Watch our last video here, and please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.